Hey, 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 it's Dad Steve. Please like and subscribe. Please click on the Decios icon. Click on subscribe. 100% free. Well, no. Apart from blood in, blood out. This is a free gems video. How to get free gems. And that's from any time you see an event where they're giving away uh, decorative structures. Um, I've only just started opening these for me. Right, so, uh, and I didn't always collect them, which was a big mistake. And that's why I'm making this video for y'all. Um, you can get lots of free gems. So let's go. All right. So this is the setup now. <laughs> so you need to have collected all. So, so each box gives you three structures. You need to have collected all the structures. So we need to collect Viking Wind. I just hope we get more. I hope I can show you how you can get gems. But this is now set up. So the next time we get a decorative structure within that bracket. Straight to gems. Okay, so... This one as well. Oh man, I say I hope I can show you some gems. I actually got quite a lot of gems, so I was quite happy with that. Uh, let's look at this one. Two thousand gems. Two thousand gems. We'll take that. Two thousand gems. Wow. Let's do some more. And again, all I'm doing is opening up these um, theme vouchers and decorative structures and oh there we go it says there on the right hand side center right um if you already have all possible rewards as i said you know when i had the uh two of the three rewards and open the third one the next time you'll get the rewards two thousand gems for free essential please whenever you see it. i'll do another video whenever they offer it but whenever you see it take it <laughs> right so we'll open this Okay, again, I've just got to do the setup. And again, I've been playing this game for years. Uh, nobody showed me this type of video. Otherwise, I'd have many, many, many more gems. Oh, 200 gems. That's a shame. I wish I was a little bit slower about what they offer. This is only 200 gems. This one will offer 200 gems as well. Wow. I'm, <laughs> I don't have most of the things. Let's say I've only just started collecting. Um, what I'm thinking as well is if you own it and you open it, AKA use it, um, I'm unclear, but I'm assuming then you'd have to collect it again, which means you're exchanging this BS structure for what could have been gems. So I need to collect a lot more of those as you can see, but we're on, we're on the road. This one, yeah, just the Christmas tree. And the reason why it would still show as owned for most of mine, because I never, as I said, I never use these decorative structures. I think that would have been 200 gems <laughs> if uh, I had all the decorative pieces, which, as you can see, I now have. Um, okay, decorative choice. If I've got everything, 200 gems. I don't. Let's go for snow. Let's go from right to left. Summer lights. There's no others. Oh, <laughs> I've already got some lights. I did that. Okay. It didn't it? Didn't show me owned, did it? You know what I mean. So I didn't know. Genuinely didn't know. And if I could select this one, I already owned. If it said select, and obviously I'd select that, just go straight to gems. So let's do that, and we'll set it up for next time. Okay. Um, if I would have used it, as I said, I wouldn't have it. 200 gems, uh, how much is this one? Potentially 100 gems. Okay, we'll set that up as well. So I'm not, listen, if I, if I actually needed these kind of temporary boosts, then, you know, then, I, then I'll be more kind of selective, but you know, I don't. Okay, so Cupid's Arrow, three days. I don't know if this works in the same way. It doesn't appear to, does it? Because it doesn't say nothing about kind of exchanging. I think it's just a straight, Anyway, let's do it anyway. Let's go confirm that. Fireworks City. Let's go into it again. Yeah, it doesn't say owned or anything. I don't know what does it say. Yeah, it does say owned. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. Okay, we're going to go for Cupid's Arrow and hopefully next time we get this three day out, which is probably quite hard to do, then hopefully it'll offer me something else. But that was it, really. Listen, I, I just recommend you go for your items. Go into your decorative structures, do something similar to what I did. This one's potentially worth 200 gems, 200 gems, and then just 
make sure that you've got one of each and then once you've got one of each of the selections presented you can convert into gems so I already did some and I got several thousand basically I think I was on zero gems so I've gone from zero to about four thousand the reason why I'm on zero is because it's um, more than gems event so I spent quite a lot of gems um, but anyway we're gonna add uh, 800 and another 2000 it's always healthy to have about 7,000 gems. Well, at least 7,000 gems. I know I'm a little bit below, um, but I'll soon be up to 7,000 again. And um, you need 7,000 because there's another event where you have to kill the barbs and you just get free stuff, free gold heads and free resources, free speed ups, the whole shebang. You get your 7,000 gems back. So that's the reason why. Always useful to get 7,000 gems. Since I'm going through a little bit of a review, I'm going to quickly show you my more than gems. And I was actually in conflict just because um, I do want to get this up to VIP 18. And I still definitely recommend that you guys or everybody just keep powering on with your VIP points. Um, you want at least your three gold heads every single day. So that's VIP 14, I think. Um... But you're also going to want, obviously, you're going to want your building speed, research speed, as hospital capacity reduced, all that type of thing. I love being at VIP uh, 17. <laughs> and I know it's not a short track and there's a lot of other things you can spend your gems on. But yeah, minimum VIP 14. I'm just looking at these. Where it says new is like the increase from... I'm looking at VIP 15. Where it says new is the increase from VIP 14. Um, yeah, training speed, particularly useful. Healing speed, and whenever you fight, I don't know, like KBK and things like that, ridiculously useful. Hospital capacity to avoid deads. Um, you get to the stage where you've maximised all your buildings, so that's that. Same with research speed, you've maximised your research. But nevertheless, yeah, training speed and hospital, obviously very useful. Uh, healing resource cost, very useful. I'd say you're probably going to need a farm. AKA you build another city within the same kingdom and that second city's purpose is only to feed resources to your main, your main account. But yeah, material production speed, quite useful, obviously. Action points, you kill more bobs, you get more free gems. Quite useful, uh, all that kind of stuff. At 16, but at 17, yeah. When you go through any of those trainer, kind of competition events and you get an extra you know 25 percent training speed aka your training the the number of speed ups you need in order to train a unit a, um, a troop unit is 25 percent less then obviously you've got a significant advantage and also obviously all damage plus five percent that is significant i would seriously love <laughs> at the max vip 18 to also have an additional 15 percent unit capacity which is why I put another 25,000 onto my VIP points and I still need 1.3 billion. Um, I don't even know if I'll be playing the game that long or the game will exist, but um, that's what I'm heading towards. And the reason why I was in, di in a dilemma was, you know that, um, when I was looking through this anyway, let's go first things first. I was looking through the shop. I'm an infantry main and I'll show you my infantry equipment in a little bit. I'm gonna sneeze, just bear with me. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at my equipment and thinking, do I want to get these um, blueprints, um, equipment, weapon, equipment, blueprints from here at one and a half thousand? It's just random. Oh, that's really. Basically, I know specifically what I want. So to get this random blueprint, this is this is not necessary. It's just uh, inefficient use. So what's it called now? Um, yeah, there's another event, I think it's called Hunt for History, where you get, uh, yeah, you can kill barbs and you can collect resources and you can kill, um, what's it called again now? Um, so it's early in the morning, my brain is still powering up. You can kill um, forts, <laughs> basically. In order to get these boxes, you can potentially get 33 boxes and you know the one, anyway. Hunt for history. So I was thinking I can get my blueprints from there. And the reason why I was in a little bit of a dilemma, just long story short, between VIP points 
and uh, materials is you know I've nearly maxed this really you know what I mean my cloak max my shorts max uh, I really want to get this uh, weapon increased you know what I mean 800 unit capacity would be great to to expertise it would also be great but obviously I've only got 25 of 100 so that's like potentially three more turns to be max but three more kind of blueprints that could potentially be at five you know what I mean that level five uh, on, on um, the legendary status whatever it's called you know what I mean so I'll get the unit capacity the damage to troops and this furious strike 10% chance again of 5% damage boost for us huge so I'll probably try and get it to five before I'd ever try and expertise it even though expertise in it would obviously, got it, you know, you know the deal. And anyway, expertise in it is also, uh, you know, not to be ignored. Um, so that's why I was thinking about the hunt for history instead of the VIP points because I'm already at VIP um, seventeen. But even for me, I still went for VIP, so I definitely recommend it for y'all. Anyway, that's it. Some free gems. All is good. I'm just about to kill some barbs. Kill these barbs, as I say. Get some free speed ups and more free gems to maybe basically complete the rotation <laughs> or continue the rotation anyway. Please like, subscribe, Daddy Steve. Free gems! Uh, Daddy Steve in the mat.